And right now it's basically hydro sucks. What? We gotta eat. We got so all night. Dude, we can get I this done. Dang, why are you crying all the time? <gasps> we will get it done. We'll get it done in a minute. It's what time is it? Eleven? Yes. We're alright. You don't have to work tomorrow. We just gotta go car show. Dang, lazy kids. Chicka boom! All right, guys, it's late on Saturday night. We're trying to get this thing ready for uh, car show tomorrow. Actually, um, feel bad the Corvette's been neglected. It's been sitting in the garage. I think since July, it's September right now. So basically, if you, you follow our channel, if you looked at our other videos of us getting it cleaned up, we used the Iron X on it, and um, that was basically a quick video. We used a new uh, polisher, the G9 on it. Um, that was a quick video and seeing how it works. I don't know a lot about the polishers in it, but I just wanted to kind of show it what we were doing on the vehicle, on the Corvette, and see how it worked. It, man, it works great. So we're going to be applying the Chemical Guys Hydro Slick right here. And it's supposed to be a ceramic coating and hyper wax. I don't know how much SiO2 is in it. So I don't know if you guys know comment below because i don't and and i didn't look it up but this is supposed to be something like the hydro charge that we have on a jeep you want to check out those videos i have the link at the end um but what i was reading in this and that by chemical guys they basically it seemed like they came out with this product because people were complaining that hydro charge was too hard to take off which it's a little bit of work but not that bad so right here and basically we used the g9 and we polished the car with gyro's garage correcting cream and i used uh what's it the yellow pad because i didn't have the orange yeah yellow pad and it came out pretty good we weren't looking for you know we weren't even looking for 90 percent perfection we just wanted to knock it off i mean this paint's just a 90 eh, 90 1987 corvette the paint's pretty much original we got some spots that are the clear coats very thin so i just want to do a little uh i didn't want to hit it real hard basically so you can see how it looks pretty good so apply it and take it off after 30 seconds it's supposed to be easier than the hypercharge and it says it has si2 technologies whatever i'm not going through all this if you guys want to read it look at their website <laughs> i'm just kidding the kid read it all he should be talking not me so basically, I mean, I'm, I'm taking it that this is just going to be a, a wax instead of like the hybrid uh, charge like a liquid. Um, that's my understanding of it. If any of you guys used it, let us know. And this is supposed to last up to 12 months. We'll, we'll see. Well, this is going to sit in the garage, so we're not going to see if this lasts 12 months. If you wanted us to try this on a different vehicle, let us know. And we'll see. Because right now, the Jeep has the hypercharge on it. We're still testing it out which a lot of guys don't believe that it's lasting over four months all right we're gonna get ready to apply this and ding take it off and we'll look at it in the garage and then tomorrow when it's sunny out before we head to the car show we'll show it ultra fast application all right guys we'll get to work okay it says apply to a cool service which we are cool because it's dark out and we're in the garage and it's still cool out it's only like 60 degrees today so it basically says squeeze four to five dabs on hydro slick on a premium micro fiber pad spread crisscross wait 30 seconds something like that and I'll try it hang on my glasses i'm getting glazed okay what they recommend is you wait one or two minutes before you buff it off all right that's what we're gonna do and it says after, and it says the idea to keep the vehicle out of the elements, dry and clean for two to three hours, for ultimate protection and shine layer to obviously desired. So basically, you're gonna want this not to get wet. Wash it for two to three hours, and it's probably like hyper charge after 24 hours. You're probably gonna get improved of all of results. I said, well, this is 12 hours. All right, I'm wrong. All right, let's get going and see how this goes. I hate their damn caps. It should be round like shinies. Let me put a couple drops on it. Look at that. That's thick like a gel. Start in the middle. Hey, 
me of that stuff. That's crazy. I might have used too much. Nah, not bad. No, I didn't. It's spreading out pretty good. We'll do this little section right here. I'll do the whole thing, kind of. And then we'll wait a couple minutes. It goes on pretty good. It's like a gel. It's kind of weird. It's not like a wax. I mean, I use that ethos. It's kind. Of, it's not like that. This is more like a, yeah, like a, a gel or a slime to be. If any of you guys use this or apply this, let us know what you think about the product. Any tips you have for us? Anyone else? Post them in the comments. We can all learn from each other. It's not bad. It goes on nice. Actually, it really does. It's hard to see in the white, actually, the product. It's going on pretty good. Cotton Corvette, man, I'm happy with it. It's coming out nice. I think you're going to use a little bit more product than Hypercharge, in my opinion. way it's going on i i don't know in my opinion i don't know right now using it just applying it i mean i like the hypercharge better i mean you can probably put this on top of your hypercharge maybe we'll do that next year after the winter after our test so we're gonna let this you know kind of haze up for a couple minutes and we're gonna buff this baby off and see what it looks like i'm white it's gonna be hard to see if it shines it up Plus two tomorrow, we're gonna look at it when it's sunny out before we go to the car show and we'll take some footage of it. Because we're basically getting this ready for the car show tomorrow. All right. Okay, it's been about two minutes. We're gonna wipe it off. Remember we did this. We did basically half the hood. And I mean, granted, we can't tell it's white, but oh well. Work with what you got. How's it coming on? Not too bad. Is it hard to take off like the hypercharge they say? Not really, it seems pretty easy. Yeah, I can see from here that it's coming out pretty decent. I don't see no difference. You see a difference? Granted, it's gonna be hard with white. I think we're gonna have to wait the two hours. It's not even coming off. That whole section's full. There you go. Yeah, you gotta put some oomph into it. There you go, it's coming off now. It's hard to see with the white. You gotta put a little bit of pressure on it to get it off. That's what we're experiencing right now. But right now, we'll just have to see what it looks like tomorrow in the sun. We'll let it cure for a couple hours. But we're going to continue to work. And All right, guys. This is hard to come off. I mean, I wouldn't let it sit for two to three minutes like they recommend. I would say put it on a section of time and wipe it off. This is, it's on there. Like the kid said, it's like a glue. If you guys ever work with cloths, they're um, all in one which that product does work good for protection but it's a nightmare to get off this what this reminds me of that's what we had on our 2015 charger that's all i used on it was the cloth for protection the two steps from cloth if you ever want to look it up it's made in germany it's a little bit old school and it's very hard to take off but it works for protection if you want to work out that's the stuff to get and this kind of remind me of that to get it off i mean i had to lean down and look and it was just a white haze on a vehicle so make sure you guys are looking you know your eyes each angle to get it off because this stuff this is worth the dang uh hover charge to get off i don't know where to get there. it was easy i think the only way it'd be easy is if you put it on and take it off right away like a canuba wax so that's what we're gonna try next. Man, we'll be here all day. Dang, we're all done right now. First coat, we're only gonna do one. We're here, hyper slick, right there. It does look good. 
I gotta admit. Now, this product goes on nice. It really does. It's like a gel. It spreads beautiful on the, on the panels. But, man, it's it's a bear to take off. Um, I was applying it, and the kid was taking off, so we got it done pretty quick. So if you're by yourself, man, do a panel at a time. Do a little section at a time because it is hard to come off. So let me know if you do use it and or you already used it. Let us know in the comments below um, how it work out for you. Maybe it's our weather because it is cooler out today. It's what what's the temperature right now? Can you look it up, please? It is, uh, 65. Okay, 65 right 66. now, cloudy. It's dark. It's like midnight. Yeah. 60. Well, it's it's 60. That's what he said. 60 degrees. And yesterday it rained, today it rained, so we got a little bit of moisture in the air. So that might have to play with the not coming off that uh easy. But it looks pretty good. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. And see what the results are in the sun. Right now, I mean, right now I can see a little bit of a difference. It is shining up pretty good. The longer, it, you know, the time goes by. Like I said, the only downfall, man, it just, this stuff sucks to take off. It really does. I don't see how they were making something um, easier to take off than hypercharge. Because to me, in my opinion right now, I'd rather use hypercharge than this. Actually. So, if you use Tapper Charge and use this, let us know which one that you would rather use. Me, uh, right now I'm going to pick Harbor Charge. Easier to put on and to take off. And, yeah. We'll see what the shine looks like on that, on this tomorrow. Even with the Harbor Charge, I know white's hard to, uh, to look and see how it shines. But, um, and the paint's not perfect, guys. You see any imperfections in it, it's not um it's old but um i mean from what i'm looking at it right now after applying it and that what did you think it took two of us 30 minutes about that, yeah. yeah about 30 minutes two guys um right now i'm still aiming for a hybrid charge but you're gonna get a better shine from just that short period of time but that's my opinion we'll see what it looks like tomorrow in the sun i might change so all right well continue to watch and we got a couple few other things to get ready for tomorrow for the show and we'll show what it looks like in the sun guys but right now that's my opinion on it and yeah right now i'm leaning towards harbor charge a better product than this hydro slick so right now it's basically hydro suck so you guys tell me all right keep watching we'll look at it tomorrow maybe i'll change my mind all right guys it's been uh, a few hours. The next day, here it is. It's got a nice shine to it. Not bad, not bad. The sun's not really out. We're going to do a Corvette show. We'll take a little bit of footage, make a video of it at Belle Isle. But it came out pretty decent. It looks good. It's got a nice shine. What do you guys think? It came out not bad. Came out nice. Quick tip too. Um, this stuff stinks. It, it, it remind me of a kerosene in the garage. Um, you're gonna want to do it in the ventilated area. Um, yeah, it's it stunk. And then um, what else? Really yeah, if you, when you leave it out one or two minutes, it's just man, it's a, you're just you're fighting to get it off. So um, that's the downfall out of it. it. Stinks. It's hard to take off, in my opinion. Um, for me using hypercharge i think that's a better product to use and i think actually by even by looking at it i think i got a better shine with the hypercharge let me put it looks pretty good right here but what we're gonna do real quick too so keep watching so it could take a couple days maybe to watch this video what i'm gonna do is i, I took a microfiber towel right here and let's put some in here and let's see if it hardens up if I can mix this up, I'm gonna hold that for me, please. I'm gonna wash my hands. Plus, too, you should wear gloves when we're using this. I was stupid and didn't wear them, but my hands didn't really feel real nasty from the product. It just smelled bad. That's my opinion on it. What do you think? How were your hands? Not too bad. But yeah, the... next time I would I, yeah, wear gloves, it was my fault. And it, it smelled like kerosene to me, but man, my, from all the years of me used to paint, 
industrial painter, automobile painter, manufacturer painter actually, no body shop. Um, I, my nose, I smell things different anyway. So I'm gonna let that sit, and we're gonna see if it uh, crystallized. We'll come back after the car show and we'll see. All right guys, continue watching, we'll see. But right now, that's my opinion on the product. Quick, we got caught in the rain at the car show, so we're leaving now, everyone left. But look at that, and hopefully you can see it. It's beading nice. The beads are falling off it's sheeting nice from the hyper slick that's a plus once i get home about if it's still raining we'll uh, walk around and see it real quick check it out it's beating nice i did not do the window car driving and got home and you guys can see it it's keeping it it looks like it's keeping it clean it's got a little bit of dirt i'm gonna have to wash it hopefully i can wash it soon but that's what it looks like it's beating up decent the back just gets trashed there we go. Okay, let's do a water test real quick. I already sprayed it down a little bit. I'm gonna wash it so we got caught in the rain. So I can dry it and put it in. Let's check it out. We'll go flat. I know the hood got a slant to it. It's gonna move fast. Look at that. That's pretty good. Go center. Like that out, it's pretty good. Well, I think right now, I mean, I'm liking it. It's giving some nice big beads, it's sheeting pretty well. Um, gonna wash it up because we got caught in that rain. Um, I'm thinking about maybe putting uh, jet seal on top of this, see what it looks like, or maybe another coat of this hyper slick. What do you guys think? Uh, let us know in the comments. Um, I know I kind of like making this video a little bit longer and I wanted to keep cutting it in. It's just the weather's kind of changed on us and throwing this footage in so you guys can see it. Not bad. I mean, the dirt just rinses right off, really. Here, look. Not all of it, but that's from the, the dressing. See? See, look, it's rinsing the dirt right off, pretty much. A lot of that's from the dressing, from the molding that I put on. I put VRP on it. Look at that. It's pretty decent, huh? Taking the dirt right off. So, all right, I'm gonna wash it up. And then we'll see, and don't forget, uh, tomorrow we'll do, look at that micro, micro fiber towel and see uh, how it's holding up. It's not bad. Okay, wash it up, put it back in the garage. Still debating to put a, another coat of Hyper Slick. or get seal on today or tomorrow. I don't know. Check it out. Man, I tell you what, though, at the car show, uh, for the people that did show up, because, you know, the clouds and rain was coming, I guess. Um, man, we, we got a lot of compliments on it, how shiny it looked. We really did. We got a lot of compliments on it. I mean, we weren't even in park yet, and we were already getting compliments, which is pretty cool. I mean, we spent, I think, five or six hours on it. So yesterday, getting it cleaned up. I mean, you can tell... Just doing all those decon processes just works. It makes the paint look a lot better. Check that out. The charger's got to be next. Dang. I know I keep making uh, footage of it. But I figured to bring it up. I mean, I'm not... It's not a terrible product. Maybe they should lower the price a little bit. You know, it is a little bit hard to work with. But, I mean, we are getting some decent results. Don't know how long it's going to last. Um, in my opinion, I think the Harper Charge is to me is easier to use and that so but what i have noticed from replying it last yesterday and today the longer you know the day goes or the hours go by it looks better it really does so in 24 hours it's your guys you're you're gonna look it's gonna look nice um the first hour or two you're like oh, i don't know i really don't see it but man but it after time goes on, it just, it looks a lot better. It really does. 
So if you guys use the product as something to look look into, and the same thing. The same thing happened with Harper Charge also. Yeah, but I I don't know. I think I'm gonna put another coat on it because we got caught in that rain. But it looks good. Charging needs to be washed. <laughs> I just keep adding to this video. Hey, check this out. You know, like I said, the longer it hits. In this area right here, if you guys remember showing it, you can see where the color is different from the base. They're here, so you can see that, right? Because in this area, the, the clear is very thin. Putting putting a coat of that hydro stick on it, man, it looks like it gave it a layer of kind of clear on it. I figure I'd throw, throw that on there if you guys want to use this product. And you can kind of get, so that's going to protect it. I don't know, man. It's the more I'm, this stuff is settling in, I'm liking it. Except for it's just hard to take off. So this is kind of perfect for something like that. I mean, it really is. I'm going to put another coat on it. Okay, everyone. It's been about a week that uh, Hydro Slick has been on here. Um, so I'm making it the ending now, a week later. It just, man, today's the first day the sun's been out all, pretty much all week. It's rained all week, you know, during the week. Um, so I figured set it up and put it out here a little bit in the in the, the sunlight that we have. You guys can look at it. I have now, I, I did end up putting two coats on this of the uh, Hydro Slick. So what I did is that same day we got back on uh, from the car show, I put another coat on I let it dry and I that night and put another one on there but i did notice on a second coat it was a lot easier to take off you know of the um the second coat was from the first coat it was really hard and the paint was clean i mean we really cleaned it up pretty good with a decon process and i think you know i think that had a, a lot to do with it putting something on clean paint and plus it's old all right take it out it gives it a nice gloss i really do like the gloss on the white it came out nice. What do you guys think? You tell me. I think it looks good. Really good. Sorry about that. Especially when this area right here, the, the clear coat is very thin. Look at that. That came out nice. Really nice. Yeah, the second coat come out nice, and let's get the, let's get the uh, that microfiber out that we put some uh, product on, and seeing if it hardened up or what it looks like. And it's been a week. All right, here it is. Hopefully, you guys can see that really good. See where it's still the same color. Um, let's see. A little bit yeah, it hardened up a little bit it's not crusty or anything like that the the fiber is down if you guys can see it yeah the fibers are pretty much done so they're hardening up a little bit not a lot but yeah if you left this on your um, microfiber towels throw them away I washed mine right away I had them in buckets and then uh, with water and some dish soap so I didn't lose my microfiber towels. But yeah, this hardened up a little bit. So from the look at this, it does have some SIO2s in it. So right there. Right there. There's the facts for it. So that's it on this. You make your own opinion what you think about it, but I think it worked out pretty good. My only fault with it being was just hard to take off. And um, I'm still sold on the hypercharger. I mean, the two coat, you're going to need a two coats on this. If you do use it, um, do, do one coat, wait 24 hours, and then put your second coat on it and try to keep the vehicle dry as long as possible. It was nice. We got, it was probably like maybe uh, 16 hours in it, and then we got caught in the rain. So we were pretty safe on getting it wet. But uh, yeah, next up for this, but I'm not gonna do it in the videos. I gotta tune up the engine. Uh, it's got a little bit of a mist. I gotta change the oil for winter. And then maybe this winter due to um, ball joints and stuff like that. Yep, in this garage. But um, all right guys, thanks for watching this long video. I appreciate it. 
sorry again that it's just throwing together footage putting it on there um i gotta do some working on that. i'll work on the channel a little bit more for you guys so we'll improve a little bit it's just my mind just races a lot so and that's pretty much it so you guys have a great day later